servos that are connected to a magic timer. Yeah. On the magic timer, there are really two things you can adjust. One is the time of how long it takes to do each step. And the other thing is the, on each step, it's going to move one or more servos. So we can adjust where those servos are positioned. And on top of that, there are special servo positions that for um, placing the servos before the actual time to run starts. So what we're going to do, you know, this is a, an F1B model, and over here we have the prop start, and the prop start lever goes underneath this little uh, little disc. And what we're going to do is adjust that so a little bit more of this wire is covered. So we're going to move that servo position. Now. So we'll uh, do something like, just like we've done in the other uh, videos, what we'll do is turn on the timer there, and turn on our Palm Pilot, and then we will read in the program that's in the timer. Now, if you look at the program, there are these columns here. These columns are for the servo positions during the execution of the program. So there's one column for each servo. So there are magic timers with up to four, actually five servos. And so these columns show the position for each different servo. Down the bottom, there are three positions across the bottom that these are the positions of the servos before the start of the flight. Now, for an F1B type model, these, these are the position where the servo is when the timer is first turned on, the position of the servo when the start button is pushed, and the position of the servo when the um, model is released. For uh, an F1A or glider, these are the position of the servo for the backward and forward positions of the tow hook. Now what we're going to, if we, when you look at those servo positions, you'll see that this column here has the servo positions, they start at position 200 and are decreasing numbers. The, the value of the servo position is an arbitrary number and it's between 0 and 255. So they're the two, that's the extent of the servo travel. And when looking down at the bottom, you'll see these servo positions are at position 230. So what we're going to do is change those to be servo position 240. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to just go and change the three of them because they need to be all the same. And we'll do that. There, we've changed those three positions. What I'm going to do now is put that program back into the airplane. And in fact, when it's put back in and loaded, after the loading is complete, the timer will beep three times. Now that's one of the features of the magic timer where it can beep out the length of the DT. Those three beeps mean that the DT is set to three minutes. After that, it resets the timer. And in fact, you'll see that little disc move a tiny bit. So let's go ahead now and put the program back in. So we saw this thing which says set timer. There, yeah, we're setting the timer now. And that's finished. Now if you watch now, you'll see that servo just move a little bit. See, the servo moved and covered up. Well, that was the resetting of the servo and it covered up a little bit more of that wire because the position before was 230 and now it's 240. That's just moved it a little bit. Now, we just picked kind of an arbitrary amount and you might have to figure out, you know, by trial and error, how much um, servo movement is required. We just guessed that, you know, 10 positions was the right amount. Maybe, you know, you might find in your case that it's more or less, because it could depend on the size of the disc and, you know, where the various things are positioned and so on. Okay? So that was it showing how to change the servo positions on Magic Time.